Hey what's up guys it's Mac here and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Nitrogen OS ROM on your Nexus 6 so without any further ado let's get started. So before you proceed any further in this video just make sure that you have downloaded the ROM as well as the G apps by going to the links in the description below. Now I'll just quickly boot my phone into the recovery mode. So as you can see here, I have installed the TWRP recovery. This is the latest version. Make sure that you also have the latest version of the recovery. I will be also providing a link to that in the description. Be sure to check it out. So as you can see here, now I am in the TWRP recovery. So before you proceed any further in the installation of the ROM, just make sure to take a backup of the whole device or the previous ROM that you have installed. Just in case if something goes wrong or if you want to revert back, you can quickly restore the backup. After that, go into the wipe. Then quickly go into the advanced wipe option. There will be asked to select the partitions to wipe. In that, select the Dalvik Art Cache, System, Data as well as Cache. Don't select the internal storage option as that is where all your data is stored. Then just swipe on swipe to wipe. Now the recovery will wipe out the selected partitions. So as you can see here the wipe was complete successful. Now I'll just quickly go to the home of the recovery. Now tap on install. Now navigate to where you have stored or copied the ROM. In my case I have it in the root folder itself. So as you can see here the Nitrogen OS Shamu. Shamu is the code name of Nexus 6 actually. Select the Nitrogen OS ROM. After that swipe on swipe to confirm flash. So as you can see here the ROM has been successfully flashed on the phone. Now just quickly go back and flash the open G apps that you have downloaded for the phone. In my case I am using the Nano G apps. If you want the full version you can download that and install it instead of this one. So as you can see now the installation of G apps has been successfully done. Now I will just go back and quickly reboot the system. And now we should be into the Nitrogen OS. So as you can see here the Nitrogen OS has been successfully flashed. This is the Nitrogen OS's boot animation. So the boot has been finally finished. It took around like 10 minutes or so to finish the boot. So as you can see now we are on the startup screen. So I'll just quickly get back after setting up the device. So I'm finished with the startup settings now. So as you can see we are booted into the Nitrogen OS ROM. This is how it looks like onto the phone. The app drawer animation feels pretty smooth. I'll just quickly jump into the settings and show you the details of this ROM. So as you can see here it says Nitrogen OS ROM by Nitrogen Project. So as you can see here we are on an Android 7.1 version. Let's just take a quick look around the settings which are available here. As you can see here the storage available, the battery, the apps which are installed. I'll just quickly jump into the display settings and reduce the display size. A reboot is required for display settings to take effect. So as you can see here the average memory uses is 771 MB. It's pretty great you are getting free of 2.1 GB. The animations are also pretty smooth on this ROM. Overall the ROM is pretty smooth. This is just a quick review. I'll be making a full review afterwards after using the ROM like for 3 to 4 days which will give me a greater idea about how the battery life is on this ROM. So that's pretty much about this video guys, give it a thumbs up if you liked it and do subscribe to my channel for more such tech videos.